Hello Cancer, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and today we are going to have a look what energies are surrounding the month of June 2022. I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is a general reading so I'll take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. And can I say thank you, massive thank you to each one of you who is here with me watching and sharing and commenting and liking that helps me and my channel grow a lot right cancer are you ready what's coming in for the month of june 2022 at the beginning of the month middle of the month and end of the month let's get them straight and the bottom i will take the card that represents your spirit and what you need to know from universe. Wow, the star card. Aquarius is coming in for you guys as well. Alrighty, here we go. Star. What 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 do you think what star is representing? Yes, indeed. The dreams are coming true. As a genie in a bottle says, I'm a genie in a bottle. Your wish is my command. What is your wishes? And be careful what you wish for okay because it might and it actually will and it is coming through out with old in with new and these seven stars represent the balancing the seven chakras get yourself in some meditation or grounded to receive to be in a line with universe to receive these messages to receive the the gift and manifestation what a beautiful start cancer this is brilliant this is absolutely brilliant do you know what before i started to do uh this month readings i really felt this is going to be something really big and it seems like every single sign is getting these real start and big movements and big messages right what about you are you ready let's start what's coming in for the beginning of the month wow we have knight of cups and queen of cups do you know what straight away there is some sort of kind of um kind of coming together even though those two cards mean different things but straight away i kind of had this feeling that there is someone you're going to meet or someone's going to come on your journey to assist you on this emotional there's a lot of emotions going on here we have two chalices here these are cups here there's a lot of overwhelmment or there's a lot of emotional kind of times here at the moment right and even though the knight of cups it is kind of a romantic uh, offer or someone's coming in your life but kind of together with queen of cups it kind of it's a good um a partnership either this is at work or this is some friend or it's just a person in life it could be as well even romantically for some of you guys and it feels so right because queen of cups is really mature person that knows how to weather the storms and it's very nurturing um if this is a friend as well maybe um a very good kind of nurturing uh, advice nurturing kind of calming influence and it feels kind of like really calm waters really calm waters here this kind of feel of good relationships with either at work or romantically it kind of feels so so good and it could be like and maybe you have been waiting for a long time for that, right? So Aquarius season was February. So it could be maybe you're waiting to see this for, since February. I don't know. But you will know when you get this message. Right. Middle of the month. You ready? What is here for you guys? Oh, Emperor and the Devil card. Right. So Aries and Capricorn. Do you know what kind of feel here? There is a, some sort of, for some of you guys, there could be upgrade at work, definitely. Something that will require more structure, be more punctual and punctual and more leadership. Because emperor is really about the status. It's about what I say the way it is, right? And it's very protective of his status, right? He has this order or it could be something, this kind of energy is saying, um, this the order is needed and maybe it's you who actually bringing these new ideas to to the place as well it is emperor is very protective or in tone right so the same as queen of cups uh, is very mature 
and it's good together combined it's a very good combination to have as very mature energies coming here to devil together here there could be something um i kind of feel that there is a possible change here either in your status your relationship status um emotional status and therefore there could be some highlights on not, not as much to say negative but it would be maybe on the habits definitely some sort of thinking habits that bring you down okay self-talk negative self-talk and it's some sort of change that you can re release it's just because there's change coming it kind of has highlighted in the things that maybe you need to kind of work on cancer and this is something to when you overcome this you are then going into the new chapter much stronger because we learn only on the bad days after the bad days when we learn the lesson we never learn on the the good days when we are just enjoying life right uh-huh Alrighty. so what was coming at the end of the month wow guys as i said for some of you this is <laughs> this is definitely it is general reading you know that and i it feels that there is definitely if it's not romantic wow then it is very strong beautiful relationships coming in and i will clarify devil in a second but however we have the lovers and the two of cups do you know what strikes me here sometimes when i look behind the scenes and what i mean is this not just as much as on the card but i see what is jumping to me a lot of white is jumping to me white white beard white clothes white dress closing here still white clothes here white horse every single thing and you know what white means purity absolute purity and it kind of feels that a lot of kind of pure intentions pure relationships are coming in either it's work or something like that so as i can see that there is a, for some of you you probably will be either promoted or kind of given opportunity to scale up and become leader okay that will require um new set of um i'd say quali qualities right and hence you have this kind of need to kind of clear your uh, closet of the bad bad negativity or or bad maybe habits right thinking habits or whatever and then we have these new uh end of months is definitely pure enjoyment of good relationships and it's for some of you you could be maybe um if you are in a partnership at the moment, it could be something, as you can see, the Archangel Raphael wings here. It could be something to deal with uh, healing for your relationship, right? In If if you are in current relationships, you know, the star, all these stars here are chakras. And that kind of calls to, to clean, cleanse them and activate them with positivity. And sometimes maybe it is something that lovers is talking about is to activate this kind of cleansing in your relationship maybe you need to talk to one another even though you may be different opinions and you might say okay we might not agree but let's have a chat let's agree that we can't agree but let's have a discussion right i'm going to quickly clarify the devil uh -huh. pentacles money right so maybe it is something to do with sometimes it money and devils like that it could be two things either maybe you're spending too much or you may be too tight sometimes right or it's the belief system regarding the money or what you think you are worth maybe there's opportunity coming in and you think oh i'm not tr no, trained enough i'm not educated enough and probably someone else will have and they will because if you think that way you kind of put out these energies and thoughts about that as well right alrighty so this is interesting cancer so if i sum up here your wish is granted but you need to take a bit of action here as well as to clean and cleanse your um old belief systems have a chat with yourself or your loved one and becoming a leader maybe this is kind of and um qualities that you maybe need to kind of uh work on even as well okay and coming together with someone um pure energies enjoy the time 
if the universe is giving you uh, these lovely people in your life and, and a per or a person, it is just lovely. Enjoy. I'm going to clarify with these beautiful um, angel symbolisms what we need to know for, for Cancer for June 2022. Righty. Aha, uh -huh. you have eyes set on certain things, right? So you do want to have that higher position or something up, something more. Go for it. You have, the bag is full of dreams. And when your heart is full of dreams, there is no space for negativity or no space for fear. Keep going. Keep going, guys. There's some cards coming, going. Yay. Aha, uh -huh. snaky situation. Right. So it could be two things. For some of you, it could be that you need to surround yourself with positivity, okay? With positive people that are not draining you, but charging you, if that's their thing. Another thing is like that, could watch who you share your information with, because not everyone might be have the, your interests at heart. Let's call them snakes as they are. Let's call as they are. Alrighty, and this one's coming through, right? So it's payday. And there's certain things you didn't believe, but you... Can actually can achieve righty okay let's have a look what angels would like to say for you for my lovely cancers cancers for june what message you need to know uh-huh you have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping teaching or parenting children it could be exactly as it is working with people or you know, young kids and children, even your own children, right? And this, how you talk to them, they really like that. And Or it could be as well, sometimes it reminds us to be like a childlike as well. If you take your life seriously, if you take yourself too seriously, this card reminds us to be playful time to time, okay? And it's kind of lighten up a bit. Ready? One more card, please. This one is definitely coming through. Oh, another star card. Right, guys, you deserve the best. That's the, that's not me, but it's a card saying, reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and do not compromise. Right, don't be second best. Okay, Hand, he, no, hold your he, head up high. Hold your head up high. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and you deserve it. You are worthy. You are enough. And you can definitely do it. You can achieve it. There is no excuse. Keep your thoughts in, intact. Keep your thoughts positive as much as you can, right? It's like a garden. You kind of try to clean off away from the old leaves and old you know, old uh, shrub and, and stuff. So the things that are growing in the garden have enough nutrition. That's with the thoughts as well, right? Alrighty, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.